Hi there, today I thought we would talk about a new ingredient, at least it's new to me. I've never cooked it before, but I have eaten it. It is tofu, this is firm tofu, and it's often used as a meat substitute. So anywhere you use chicken, you could use tofu. Um, it is made out of soybeans, and it's you know fairly good for you, and you often find it in Asian restaurants. So it's gonna be a very basic recipe today. All you're gonna need is tofu, soy sauce for flavoring because tofu is naturally very bland and some olive oil and a frying pan so let's get started so it is packed in liquid so it can be a little messy so honestly i would do this over the sink but we're going to drain off this liquid now I'll open it the rest of the way so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's kind of similar in appearance to like feta cheese. And you can see this is firm tofu. Um, there is another variety called silken tofu, which is softer and a little bit whiter. And you can use that um, in like miso soup and things like that. <clears throat> So, we're going to cut a slice off and see if I can lift it out. And that is what it looks like. If you're not using your whole package, you do want to save that liquid and pour it back in when you put it in the refrigerator. And I'm just dicing mine up, but you can cut it however you would like. And we're going to add in a little soy sauce. And it's absorbent, so it will suck in that flavor, whether it's soy sauce or curry or garlic powder, whatever you happen to be using. I'm just turning them over to make sure that both sides absorb that soy sauce. We're letting that soy sauce cook down a little bit and letting our tofu heat through. I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the heat. All right, and I'm just gonna serve this up with some wilted spinach and some sriracha sauteed mushrooms, and you have a quick, healthy meal. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.